those vegan guys. I thank you. It's Jason's Lunchtime Taste Tests. Well, hello everyone. Uh, today I've got something I'm rather excited about, but I need to give a full transparency. Got this from Tesco the other day. It was in the clearance section, which is strange because as you can see, it says new. We paid 175 for this, and I think the usual price is 275, but it could be more. There's a possibility that this has been discontinued because I can't find a huge amount of information about it online. Um, so it might be worth getting yourselves into your local Tesco, quick sharpish. See if you can pick this up for £1.75, which is what we paid for it. Anyway, it's, you know, diced tofu in a fiery chilli sauce with a vegetable, bean and lentil rice. I would question whether fiery is the appropriate word, but it has got three chilies on the front. Quite high sodium salt content, but nothing to be too concerned about in a healthy, balanced vegan diet. I'll just quickly show you the back of the packaging, as I always like to do. 400 grams, so I'm going to whack it in the microwave now and let you know what I think of it. Ooh. Obligatory stir before another two minutes in the microwave. It's a bit hard to do this with one hand whilst I'm holding the camera. My slight, I'm slightly suspect that the rice may go a little bit mushy, but I am getting ahead of myself there a little bit. So, right, another two minutes and we'll get to it. The finished product. I've not even bothered putting it on a plate today because I need to just dive in and give this a try. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, let's start with the rice. I've got to say, it smells lovely. It smells really nice. It's very hot. Okay. So first and foremost, like a lot in the Wicked range, it's very, very flavoursome. Um, I wouldn't say it's fiery hot, but as many of you will know, if you're familiar with us and the channel, myself and uh, the Hubster Paul have both got quite a high tolerance when it comes to uh, spicy foods. But it's good, it's tasty. I'm gonna try some of this tofu, because that I am curious about. Not bad. It feels a little bit like the tofu has not really taken on any of the flavouring in the rest of the meal. It's like the, the tofu is completely neutral and all of the flavour is everywhere else. So, obligatory fork with everything. Mm. It's not bad at all. Could it be improved? Yes. Um, if it has been discontinued, I don't know why. Maybe it's not quite where Wicked want it to be in terms of their usual standard. It's a little bit mushy, the rice. Um, obviously, I got it at a bargain, so I'm certainly not complaining too much for £1.75. If the recommended retail is 275 or around three quid or something like that, it's still pretty good. Um, and I think based on that, I'm going to give it a neutral seven out of ten because it could be improved. The rice is a little bit mushy, um, and the tofu I think could be slightly better flavoured. Um, but yeah, other than that. I can't complain. It's a really bitingly cold day today uh, here in the northwest of England. So I'm very grateful also to have something warm today. Um, it's been, for any of you that keep up with a lot of our content on the channel, a particularly stressy few days over the weekend. Um, but hopefully we are seeing some light at the end of the tunnel. So as always, thank you for being here. 
um, please do consider giving the uh, video a thumbs up and the channel a subscribe if you haven't already. Um, do also, and I always forget to mention this, click that notification bell because we're uploading stuff all the time to the channel. We're doing Vlogmas at the moment and then we'll be doing a whole bunch of stuff in the new year for the January 2022. But do take care of yourselves and I will uh, see you very soon. Well, hello, my loves. It's... Uh... <laughs> Look, look, look who's here. It's Tuesday night, and if you if you saw the update I gave on the uh, community tab, you'll know that Isis is back to her old self. Well, 95%. Well, 95%. Anyway, the first day of a new meals vlog, and this will, this should be Vlogmas 14, I think, Jason. Wow, I'm not even going to do the maths at this stage. Um, let's call this a deconstructed gardener's pie. I couldn't be bothered putting it together and putting it in the oven. Okay. But it's the same thing. Yeah. Potato and sweet potato mashed, and then lentils in a gravy sauce. The only thing I've added um, to the carrot and onion that is normally in there is peas and sweet corn, just to have a bit more veg. Nice. And of course, we've got the opening of the advent calendar. There we go. So, as we said right at the start, um, this is seven. I'm going to open this now. We're probably going to stop oh, when we get to twelve. I've just we? uploaded Emil's vlog, by the way. I forgot to say, uh, vlogmas seven. So I'll, I'll, uh, I'll if you, if you behind, I'll uh, link it. What's this one, promise? Habanero hot sauce. Oh, nice. I just said to Paul. Isn't it funny that the colour matches the mash? This is not a meal it. that should take hot sauce. Come on. <laughs> what have you done to us, Leanne and Imran? <laughs> it's just no meal now is going to be right without some type of hot sauce. Right, let's have a, let's have the, the plate taste of it. Very simple meal, but really nutritious. Whole meal, um, whole food plant based, other than the uh, gravy powder. Um. Ready? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's lovely. It's got a slight sweetness to it, that one, hasn't it? Very sweet, but a, a really nice um, heat. Gentle, very gentle heat. Just a, a tickle. That it, may actually be the mildest one we've had so far. Yeah, it's like a tickle. It's lovely. lovely. I think I've got a bit on me. Yeah, yeah I'm going to put that on our mashed potatoes. Um, so there you go, lovely Lady Isis is almost back to normal and we're having deconstructed gardeners pie, don't you know, with beers and sweet corn. Mmm. Bye loves. Hello my loves, it's Wednesday night and the second night of our meals vlog and you may have already seen the, um, the recipe for this here curry paste, this one right here right now because I uploaded it last week on Thursday it was our vlogmas number nine curry paste um, so basically yeah I've made a curry paste done some lovely brown rice with some chicken salt <laughs> I love saying that with an Australian accent and in the curry we've got uh, yellow and green pepper white onion peas sweet corn sweet potato carrot and Iceland nut chick strips Nugget pieces, and of course, Advent calendar time! Yay! Eee. What um, what day are we on? Oh, it's the it's the eighth. It is number eight, door number eight. And we're going. This is going to go on our rise. Dun dun dun. What's it going to be? A nice close up of that. This one is nan ooh. bread, of course, from the freezer. Uh, Tesco pound. To it, and uh, we had just eat one for a meal half each to the right went freezer. What is Naga it? Jalokia. Oh my god, that might be scary. I seem to recall Naga being quite a hot pepper. Right, are we having a dip like we have been doing? Yes, let's stick. Have you been with enjoying it. this chilli sauce uh, advent calendar malarkey in our meals vlogs? Uh, several of which, well in particular, the 7th, the 14th and the 21st of December have all been Vlogmas vlogs, or will be. Ready? Yep. Nice. Nice tang. Ooh yeah, it's got quite a bit of a sort of... The, the first thing I tasted was a, it was a little bit vinegary. Mm -hmm. 
but that's nice. Yeah, it is. And then a little bit of heat coming through. And then sweetness. Yeah, but not not silly. No, no, no. It's nice. Mm. So, um, if you'd like to know how to make this here curry, do check out the vlog that I'm linking up there right now. See, see how that lie up there? Well, if you press it, all the videos that I mentioned in this video will come linked either, um, not if you're watching it on telly, I'm afraid, but if you're on a phone or a device, either at the side of the uh, video or underneath. It's marvellous what technology can do. Right, we're going to get this down our throats, my loves, and we'll see you soon. Bye, loves! Hello, my loves, it's Thursday night. This is going to be a right doozy because there's all sorts to tell you. Right, I'll start at the very beginning. If you remember in last week's meals vlog or the one before, we tried the Coupland's uh, vegan steak bakes that I'd got from Heron for £1.50. Well, these are the Coupland's vegan cheese pasties. They've been in the freezer since I bought them all that time ago in Oldham. Um, so we thought we'd have them tonight. Uh, and of course, we've got the opening of the Advent. Oh, we're having just a nice salad uh, with some of the um, Tesco Plant Chef uh, bacon maple dressing <laughs> thing. <laughs> You're looking at me. For and bread. <laughs> Come on, okay, Advent okay, calendar. Okay, okay. Ninth, it's the ninth. Um, are we going to try this as well? Of yeah. course. Okay, so day nine. Uh, what I'm going to say is what I said to Paul before. Out of all of the meals we've had so far, days one to eight, every meal we've had, we could just about justify having the hot sauce with it. <laughs> this is one meal we can't really justify. We can. We can just have a blob at the side of our pasta. But we've set a, we've set a precedent now, haven't we? This is a cayenne hot sauce. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Right, let's have a taste. And then we've got to have a taste of the pasty. Tasty, oh, tasty. What do you want to do? Have a taste of the pasty first? Yes. Yes. Just in case it is silly. Yeah. Hot. Now, these are £1.50 from Heron. Uh, or if you live in Yorkshire, they might be available in lots of other um, shops. Ooh, nice range of vegetables in there. Mm. Can you see the steam coming out? It shouldn't be that hot. I'm going to be careful this Do time. Do be just I made have a right a, mistake last Have time, a little right? bit, Jason. Be a sensible boy. Sensible boy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right, let's try this then. Careful, be careful. Good. Because yeah. the steak bakes were really good as well, weren't they? The vegan steak bakes. How much are these again? £1.50 for a box. They're brilliant. Really, really nice pastry. Lovely flavour. But also, the thing I've been arcing on about, texture. Mm. There's texture in it's there. It's because there's chunky veg in there. It's lovely. Right, give us a taste of that sauce, Bromers. Okay. It's all good tonight, isn't it? And then we've got the shitting of the salad. This is what I said, it's going to be a long one. Did can't cope with this no more, me. <laughs> Don't you just love the drama? Ready? Oh, you've mm. already had yours, yeah. Mmm. Oh, that's lovely, that is. That's proper tangy. Not a lot of heat, but it's got a lovely tang to it. Very vinegar forward. Oh, yeah, it's really tangy, that, isn't it? Yeah. Mmm. I don't mind it, though. That's nice. No. I think because I've just had the uh, the pasty, I feel like it actually goes with the pasty. Well, it will go with the pasty. But not Chili the sauce goes with everything. Not the salad. Oh, shh. <laughs> shit that salad, will you? <laughs> the shitting of the salad with Paul and Jason's perfect salad shitters. Folding and shitting. <laughs> should, I, should I load you up? Yeah, please. I love it when we have a pie or a pasty and just a load of salad. It's always a really... I mean, it's a reasonably healthy meal as well because of the salad. But then you don't feel so guilty about having a pie or a pasty. You know what I mean? And you should never feel guilty because when you feel guilty, it releases a chemical which makes fat stick to other fat quicker. True story. Check it out if you Science. don't believe me. Science. 
Right, so there you go. Uh, Couplins, £1.50 for two. Cheese pasties from Heron. A lovely mixed salad. Some bread and butter. And some hot chilli sauce. Because it'd be rude. Oh. As soon as it's a long one, mm -hmm. a long segment, I'd like to just say two very quick things before we dive in. Okay. One, I'd like to say, I hope you've all been enjoying the Vlogmas vlogs. Uh, and the second thing I'd like to say, just very briefly, is to just say thank you, thank you to everybody for all of the support regarding our wonderful fur child, Isis. Who's become a real diva over the last couple of days. She has, but thank you for all of the support <laughs> in all of the ways that you've supported us, I've, genuinely. I know. Yeah. And, yeah. and I've said it too, but it's nice to hear it from you as I well. Know. I thought I should. So, <laughs> right, going in us faces, lots of love, and for now, bye loves. Hello, my loves, it's Friday evening, and... Uh, this is what we're having for our dinner. Just a couple of updates first. Been to the vets with Isis today. All is good. We're back next Saturday for hopefully a final checkup. Uh, but she's doing great, the lass. Mm -hmm. uh, is she around? She's upstairs. Oh. Well, piss her. <laughs> <laughs> we're having. Do you remember? I don't know if you remember. It's quite a while ago. It might have even been about three or four months. We bought some Plant Pioneers chicken style nuggets for 83p a bag. They were on clearance. Well, this is the last bag right there. We're having uh, a bit of salad with no dressing, strangely. Hmm, I wonder why. And Weirdo. Um, for the first time uh, in a long time, I've done a pasta salad as a side so I just cooked up some pasta with some frozen peas and sweet corn uh, when it was cooked drained it put it in cold water drained it again put it in cold water uh, just to make it all cold added some fresh chopped red onion a little bit of um, bacon mayo some plain mayo a bit of English mustard and a little bit of apple cider vinegar and some salt yes. um, and of course we've got the opening of the advent calendar number 10 oh there it is yeah there so we've got is. we've got three more sources but we don't know what they are uh, essentially i said to jason i haven't put any dressing on my salad because i think i'm going to dress my salad with whatever this is watch it be something brutal now that kicks me out which is the only reason why i said weirdo jalapeno oh that'd be lovely on that'll a salad. be okay won't it yeah Let's have a little tasty it's before a we go. Color. Oh, we've got a dipping sauce uh, mix: English mustard, um, Hellman's vegan mayo, and uh, Sainsbury's own brand ketchup. All in the same bowl because I kind of like it when they mix. I'm a bit gross like that. Do you want to try a bit first? Yeah, yeah, yeah. As we do. Yeah. As we we have done, you know, for consistency. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is vinegary enough to be perfect on a salad. Not a lot of heat though. In fact, I don't detect any. I think that's the that's the mildest one so far. We've that said that jalapeno. before. But and then jalapenos are pretty mild, aren't they? Yeah. You know what I mean? It, we've just got out of the shower after doing our 10-10-10. And it's um, and it's day ten. As well. It's day ten, yeah, yay! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, yellow stickered chicken style nuggets. Pasta salad and salad with chilli sauce on. I think I'll join you with the uh, the sauce on the the salad. Let's do that. Just a you know. Just a sprinkle. I want to make sure I say. Do me. <laughs> do me. Do <laughs> me. Is that okay? Will you do me fine, sir? Will you do me salad good? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, there it is. Our lovely dinner on Friday night. Oh, I uploaded a Sainsbury's vlog today. I'll link it up there now. Have a look. Oh, we, we, we're right good. They've all the festive stuff in. Happy Vlogmas. Bye, loves. Hello, my loves. Hello, little Isis. Ch -ch -ch. Hi. Thank you for saying hello. People will appreciate that. <laughs> You're going away now. We love you. Bye. Having a scratch on a scratching pad. Um, if you saw my uh, ISIS update earlier in the week, you'll also know that I prepared a load of beetroots. Well, tonight I've made a borscht and I've outdone myself because it's the third time I've made it and this is the best yet for sure. We've got some dill yogurt to go in it and some bread 
And what's this little pot here for? <gasps> Ta da! <laughs> it's for our advent calendar! Uh, Today is the 11th, Bromers. Here. Yeah. We're going to dip say, our bread. Yeah. I was saying, how are we going to possibly incorporate a hot sauce into this meal? And I said, I'm going to dip my bread in it, and I'm going to do that. Ooh, this is a dark Ooh, one. Oh, it is a dark one. What is it? Chipotle hot sauce. Ooh. Now, I'm not aware that Chipotle is known for being ridiculously well, hot. Well, squeeze so. it in there. Let's have a look at it. Got to thank um, <laughs> Leanne and Imran again for this advent calendar. It was a great uh, gift for us. It's been very, um, very interesting. Well, uh, every single meal has been has been able to incorporate it in. It's it's added to it, hasn't it? It's not. Oh, that's gorgeous. Only a little bit of heat, but it's very full flavoured. A little bit smoky. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. Nice. Nice. So, borscht, bread, yoghurt, chilli sauce, it's all going on. And we uploaded a Morrison's vlog today, so if there's any room, because <laughs> I know I've mentioned a lot of links, I'll, uh, I'll link it up there, and we shall get on with having a lovely borscht made for the third time with our homegrown beetroots. Mmm, borscht. In my face. Bye, loves. Hello, my loves. It's Sunday evening. We had a lovely live this afternoon, didn't we, Jason? We made fancy mincemeat pinwheels. We certainly did, and they are delightful. <laughs> They're quite delicious, aren't yes. they? Really. And tonight, um, because uh, what you, what I don't cover in these vlogs, and I should perhaps a little bit more, because it's like day one of this vlog, which was the um, uh, black bean, uh, brown lentil. Uh, kind of mince mm. and mashed potatoes. Jason took that for lunch as well a couple of days later and my mum had a portion. The borscht that we had last night, Jason's mum and dad have got a portion each for their dinner tonight and we've got a portion left. And this is the curry I made a couple of nights ago that we had with rice and naan bread. And there was this, we always, I always make enough to do two meals, one with rice and naan, one with chips and just a bit of plain yogurt because plain yogurt on curry is fantastic a couple of slices of bread it's time brommers yeah day two advent calendar day 12 oh it's a lie oh it's very pale it's very pale it's almost white it is ah oh, tabasco oh Oh, it's very pale. I shall have that. Uh, should we do a test like we normally do? Well, let's, we can't break with consistency. We can't. No, no, we have to do this now till 24. Well, we? technically, as we've said, the next 12 sauces will be a repeat of the ones we've had. And how well will they go with our dinners? That's the whole point of this, Jason. Well, that's part of the fun. That's the drama. Oh, it really is pale. It, it looks. Is, it? I won't say what that looks like. It's got an immediate kick. Immediate. That then dissipates. Yeah, very nice though. And again, that vi that kind of vinegary tang. Mm. There, it, 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 it's probably not, but I can taste a bit of apple. Nice. We're going to put that on our chips. Curry and chips. Sunday night. Did oh, go on then. Yeah. Yeah. Do it while you're there. Do me, sir. Will you do me? Lovely. Might as well watch it go on yours as well. You know, just for laugh. Wow. Chilli sauce, my dears, from our lovely advent calendar. Marvellous. And of course, curry and chips. Mm, get in me belly. Bye, loves. Hello, my loves. It's Monday evening and it's the final night of this meals vlog with a new one starting on this very day that you're watching this Tuesday. Um, so... This is an unusual meal tonight. So I had some... Do you remember I did uh, brown lentils earlier in the week? Well, I had some left. So I thought, I'll do like a bolognese sauce. And with some penne pasta. But then I had some beetroot left as well, already diced in the fridge. So I roasted it in the um, air fryer. 
the beetroot, just spread it with a little bit of oil and put it in the air fryer until they were cooked. Mixed that in with a lovely rich tomato sauce and some onion and some peas. And here we are, nooch on top. A very unusual pasta dish. It looks delightful. Well, well, well why don't you have a taste before we open the um, advent calendar, advent calendar yes. for today. That's going to be unusual. But uh, probably quite nice. Because the pasta's gone red, and obviously there's little bits of beetroot in there, isn't there? Pre-roasted beetroot, I'll have you know, Martha. Mm. Is it good? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I never thought uh, of putting beetroot with pasta before, but hey, well, you know, why not? Right, advent calendar bromas. I like it. I mean, the beetroot, you can taste the beetroot, and there is that slight sweetness there. Well, good. But it's lovely. 13. We should, technically, as far as I'm aware, be back to the start again now. Sorry, I'm being a bit heavy handed there with that, haven't I? I'll take the doors off. So we are on Chipotle. Oh, dark Chipotle. We had Chipotle. Oh, no. So it's not gone back to the beginning. So it's going to be randomised yeah. again, isn't it? Okay, so that's interesting. Let's have a test. Let's have a test. Let's see how this will go on this lovely pasta dish. Well, we've had Chipotle already. Looks quite nice though, doesn't it? Um, and we said, didn't we, it's, um, it's quite smoky. Do you just want a little bit on the side? We've already tried it. Two nights ago. Mm. That's actually really, really good. Right, that's going on our pasta. We've got a slice of bread to mop up with for after. Because it'd be rude not to. Oh, you might as well do me while you're there, Bromers. Hi. I'll wait here in anticipation for your hand. Marvellous. Lovely jubbly. So thus marks the end of this year meals vlog which also constitutes vlogmas 14 oh yeah 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 that's what this meals vlog is this Fabulous. time and then the next time will be um vlogmas 21 well we'll be getting there by that point won't we? and we'll have we'll have even more chili sauces uh, so there you go beetroot works in a pasta sauce martha who knew i didn't do now bad loves.